Can BDSM be a safe and consensual practice? What is the truth behind myths about loss of sexual interest in long-term relationships? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Yes, BDSM, bondage, discipline, dominance, submission, sadism, and masochism, can be a safe and consensual practice when based on communication, consent, and mutual respect. Prioritizing the safety and well-being of all involved parties is crucial. The loss of sexual interest in long-term relationships is not inevitable. Factors such as stress and routine may influence it, but effort, communication, and ongoing adaptation can maintain a satisfactory sexual life. The idea that passion diminishes over time is a myth. Many couples maintain an active and satisfying sexual life. In certain Aboriginal communities in Australia, traditional oral and visual teaching methods, such as rock art and stories from elders, are used to transmit knowledge about sexuality and human relationships. Acceptance of sexual diversity. Recognizing and respecting sexual diversity, including homosexuality, bisexuality, and pansexuality, is crucial to promoting a culture of inclusion and respect for all individuals, regardless of sexual orientation. Acquired premature ejaculation. Although primary premature ejaculation occurs from the onset of sexual activity, acquired premature ejaculation may develop later in life due to factors such as stress, anxiety, or relationship issues. In many African countries, sex education often faces challenges due to lack of resources and prevalence of conservative cultural norms. However, there are efforts to provide information about HIV-AIDS and other sexually transmitted diseases through community education programs and awareness campaigns. Age-Related Anorgasmia As people age, they may experience changes in sexual response that contribute to anorgasmia, such as decreased genital sensitivity or hormonal changes. Anorgasmia and Chronic Illnesses Chronic medical conditions, such as diabetes, multiple sclerosis, and cardiovascular disease, can affect blood circulation and nerves, contributing to anorgasmia. Anorgasmia and masturbation. Some individuals with anorgasmia may be able to experience orgasms through masturbation, but not during sexual intercourse with another person, suggesting possible psychological or emotional factors involved. Anorgasmia and pelvic trauma. Traumatic injuries in the pelvic region, such as those sustained in car accidents or falls, can cause nerve and tissue damage, affecting sexual response and potentially causing anorgasmia. Anorgasmia and sexual therapy. Sexual therapy, which may include sensate focus techniques, cognitive behavioral therapy, and sexual education, is a common approach to treating anorgasmia and improving sexual response. Antibiotic resistance. Some STDs, such as gonorrhea and syphilis, are developing resistance to antibiotics, making their treatment and control difficult. Atypical symptoms. Sometimes, STDs can present atypical symptoms that may be confused with other conditions, making accurate diagnosis difficult without specific tests. In Aboriginal communities in Australia, sex education may be integrated into life education programs addressing a variety of topics, including health, family, and culture. These programs are often tailored to respect the cultural and spiritual perspectives of indigenous communities. Body acceptance. Foreplay can be an opportunity for women to practice self-acceptance and self-love by allowing themselves to feel pleasure and enjoy their bodies without judgment or inhibitions. Breastfeeding fetishism. Some people experience sexual arousal by observing or participating in breastfeeding during sexual activities. This fetish may be related to the maternal connection and intimacy of breastfeeding. Celebration of diversity. The Kama Sutra acknowledges the diversity of desires, preferences, and human bodies,
fostering an inclusive attitude towards sexuality that values the uniqueness of each individual and relationship. In certain regions of sub-Saharan Africa, non-governmental and community organizations hold initiation ceremonies for young people, during which sexual education, tradition, and rites of passage into adulthood are imparted. Clitoral stimulation. Many women find that positions allowing direct clitoral stimulation, either manually or through friction with their partner's body, are especially pleasurable and can increase the likelihood of reaching orgasm. Community support. There are communities and support groups dedicated to open relationships where people can find guidance, resources, and camaraderie with others who share their lifestyle. Congenital syphilis. On the rise. Congenital syphilis, which occurs when an infected pregnant woman transmits the disease to her baby, is on the rise in several countries, highlighting the importance of timely diagnosis and treatment during pregnancy. Conscious breathing. Practicing conscious breathing during foreplay can help women connect more deeply with their bodies and sexuality, increasing feelings of relaxation and pleasure during sexual activity. Control favoring positions. For some women, maintaining control during sexual activity is important, so they prefer positions where they can direct the pace and depth of penetration, such as cowgirl or modified missionary. Couple use. Sex toys are not just for individual use. Many are designed to be used as a couple. This can include toys for mutual stimulation, such as vibrating rings or role-playing toys. Creativity and experimentation. Foreplay is an opportunity to be creative and experiment with new techniques and sex toys that can enhance arousal and pleasure. From silk handcuffs to soft feathers, there is a wide range of options to explore. Cultural differences in sexual practices. Sexual practices vary widely among different cultures and societies, influenced by factors such as religion, history, and social norms. What may be considered taboo in one culture may be accepted in another, and vice versa. Cultural differences. The perception of what constitutes premature ejaculation may vary depending on culture and social norms. What is considered a problem in one culture may be accepted as normal in another. Curable and chronic STDs. Some STDs, such as chlamydia, gonorrhea, and syphilis, are curable with proper treatment, while others, such as HIV and genital herpes, are incurable and require long-term management. Demystifying romantic love. Open relationships. Challenge the conventional idea that romantic love must be exclusive and centered on one person. This can lead to greater understanding and acceptance of diverse forms of love and commitment. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality,